Welcome back to Seat Story Cup oh, 3. Man. It's been a lot of good action already today. A lot of great poker action over there with Forsen. That's pretty funny. And, yeah, uh, man, he had some really good beats yesterday, and then today it was like you couldn't script some of the, the hands that played out any better. It was really funny. Yeah. 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 So uh, a fun time down here. I bet you wish you were here, but, well, at least you can watch us here on stream. Uh, our next match. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. At least you can watch us have fun, which should be kind of fun for you. Uh, we, the <laughs> next match we're going to have. Again. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, we're going to have Orange against 6 0 coming up here in just a minute. That's really right. good game. I think both yeah. players played perfectly in their first uh, mm. series. Yeah, they both played really, really well. I'm, I'm excited about this one. Six of things that he's a little bit favored. You you were agreeing with that? I, I said it already. I think CISO has the best lineup from uh, all the lines I saw this tournament. Okay. The thing is that I think this game, this series is going to go to the Rogue versus Rogue, which is like really insane and in depth that it kind of becomes luck related to. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's so many ways that can uh, you can yeah. swing the like, tables. I remember Artie one time was casting with me, and he was explaining the turn two, should you hit with the weapon or not, and it took like three turns to explain it. And then there was like other stuff that was going well, on. Well, RDU so. could take three turns to explain just about anything. <laughs> <laughs> and the his, thing about his, it is, uh, when he wants to explain team. something, he speaks so quickly to make sure that he can get it all in, but it still takes three turns. Yeah. No, it's 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 actually really true. But I think that's part of the reason why uh, people enjoy it, man. Yeah. Been, yeah. You've been oh, killing totally. it. Totally. You've been killing it. I mean, this is pretty much the, the start of a casting career. You go 0-6 in tournaments. That is true. And over to the casting That couch. is a very true thing. Please, uh, no. <laughs> this is a great I think career for failed pro gamers. Did you do... Did you? How did you do last season of Cup, Dan? Pretty poorly. Uh, better than you two did uh, this one. <laughs> oh, my God. By several wins. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but poorly as well. <laughs> That's right. Actually, uh, we have... <laughs> I was looking at it, and uh, RDU is the only player to not get a win in the tournament so far. I have barely better by just one win, but we're both in the same boat. Everyone else went like 4-6, like barely As I eliminated. said, like, I don't know what happened. I, mean, I didn't feel that good yesterday. Mm -hmm. Everything went against me. I was... Uh, I... My, I had no, we. Man. You had everything good yesterday. You were ranked number one legend. You were getting some really good positive feedback. You know, your teammates were doing pretty yeah. well. So, like, like, I don't know. Something went good. wrong in my mind. I couldn't focus that well on the game. I don't know. Well, let's just jump, jump into the people yeah, that qualified. Man. Let's watch this game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you on uh, this is gonna, 6 0? Yeah, you follow 6 0. Okay. okay. And uh, we will follow Orange over here. And okay. All good. Orange. Here so it's going to be an Archon team kill. Hey, uh, RDU, what rhymes with Orange? <sighs> Not that many. It's really hard in Romanian to find a uh, rhyme for Orange. In What's English? the Romanian <laughs> word for Orange? <laughs> uh, I will not say it on stream. Many viewers are not Romanian. Yeah, but Crip's here, so he can. <laughs> yeah, he's watching. Let's just focus on the game. So, <laughs> ro Rogue versus Warlock. Enough shenanigans, Arto. Enough <laughs> shenanigans. Let's get to this. Is serious business. <laughs> Cardstone is serious. <laughs> did I tell you that Cardstone's an actual game? I did. Yeah, yeah. I let I you know. It's is actually it a really funny. Huh? Isn't it a, a leap off? No, it, it pretty much is. It's like, it's kind of like uh, Monster Hunter meets. Hearthstone in a way. It's like each card has the uh, ability to level up and stuff. It's this matchup is really complicated. Usually the rogue is favorite, but 6-0 is a really experimented demon lock player, so we might see 6-0 winning versus Orange here. All right. The the nice thing about this matchup is um, you still have you have like less threats as the rogue player to deal with compared to the normal uh, set of hand lock, right? Like the giants are so problematic. Mm. You often need to get like SI on the board or Thanos on the board so that way you have something preemptively. But if your opponent only has Void Caller into, you know, only a 5-7, it's more manageable to deal with. If Void Caller summons Mulganis somehow, right. the game will not be that good for the rogue player because he will need to use all his boards to deal with Mulganis or, or a sap. Yeah, or a sap. Eh. Or a two mana spell. Yeah. One or the other one. That's pretty convenient. I'm ready to well, it looks like he's going to be able to deal with this pretty easily to start. He's not really uh, mana efficient. Uh, yeah. Well, it isn't mana efficient, but you know, his opponent doesn't really gain too much from it on the board. And no. you just have to be a little bit more aggressive, I think, right? He still has a good curve. Like, as I drake into Shredder, Hero Power, maybe, or Shredder, Eviscerate, or Shredder, or whatever, for two mana. And then Dr. Balanced, he's the board. That's right. I heard you guys reaming Dr. Boom. Yeah. Morning, Doesn't though. everybody call him Doctor Balance because he's not balanced? Doctor Balance, Doctor GG. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get it catch on Doctor Broom because he cleans up the board. Whoa, that's <laughs> sick, man! Right? I think that that's call a much it the better. janitor, Doctor Boom. <laughs> yeah, Doctor Broom. Doctor Broom. Broom. <laughs> yeah. 
Dr. Vroom, because he ends the game so fast. Ooh, Dr. Vroom. Yeah, that's pretty good. But why is he a doctor? Because he went to school for eight years, <laughs> RDU. God. He's got $250,000 in debt. Oh. <laughs> that's like... That's just rude, RDU. That's, yeah. that's just ignorant, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Still <America>. busy. <laughs> Actually, I think the American players haven't even been doing too well, right? Do we have any Americans oh, that's actually a pretty outside good point. of Hyped doing well? Uh, Firebat yeah, Hyped cut through. Firebat. Oh, Firebat. That's yeah, right. Firebat. second stream, but I get to see it. Um, actually, I think most of the other ones went out. Strife Curl went out. Zelay went out. You went out. Like, <laughs> Thank you for considering me an American player. Well, they, what else would I consider you? <laughs> an American caster, I guess. Well, here... Uh, Dawgi Sun is insane. Yeah. Thorazon made a, like a lot of really hard, clunky cards ch so much cheaper. The mm. Bane of Doom, for example, and the Sylvanas. Those cards are a little bit clunky to use as the game develops because Rogue can easily get so much tap tempo, but he already didn't use one Sap. And so those things are more likely to stick onto the board. You can get so many nifty combos out. Mm. Yeah. It's insane. But now Orange is dominating the game still. The Rogue is applying a lot of pressure. Seeing double shredder, I know that Orange is running double oil. It's usually the rule of double oil, z zero or one teachers, and uh, one oil, oh. two teachers. That's funny. Bain. Let's see. Oh, oh, six on wow. wow. That stinks. That's literally the worst one. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Six or still has Sylvanas Shadow Flame. Mm, Actually, true. do you need to Shadow Flame the Sylvanas? You can peel the. What do you think of PO'ing uh, PO oh. the Imp, going for face, Shadow Flaming the Imp, the and then bomb. if the the bombs need to hit Sylvanas twice, and then you steal the 7-7 seven, seven Dark Third Boom, it's a little bit RNG-ish, but you got super unlucky one turn ago. If you get super, so you deserve the luck. Yeah, you deserve the luck. Well, he's rather just gonna, go for the guarantee. He's going to cut that right out. Hopefully the Blood Imp can absorb a lot of damage. Oh yeah, that yeah, was, that was not bad. That was but not still, bad. It, like, if Sixo goes for the RNG again and he loses it, at least he can have something to blame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I would do. Wow, two sprints. I love being able to blame my losses on things like RNG. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Say it like it's an after-school activity. <laughs> oh, man. Prep sprint gives him room to play the pilot shredder. Oh, The so instant cool. SI. Yeah. yeah. He didn't even draw it. These guys play really quick. Too, yeah, yeah. They, well, such a change-up from uh, Nib versus uh, oh, my anybody. Oh, God, don't even. Nib versus Monk. <laughs> After get me started on that. After thousands of games with... Oh my god. Wow. The RNG is again 6 so This whole tournament, like... I don't know if you this saw it. This whole tournament? Did you see it throughout the last game, like, versus Taij? Taij needed the 1 out of 13 Savager top deck to win versus 6 so And he got it to make the series 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, but that's because Tice has been drawing, running like that all tournament long, too. <laughs> mm. I feel like it's more a victim of, like, Tice uh, doing really well with some of those back-to-back. -back, especially with Mech Mage. Like, like, that run yesterday... In his series to advance the losers was really crazy. Sixer yeah. is really unlucky. Oh my god. This tournament. This, this series at least. You kind of have a, to feel for him a bit. Well, it, eh. uh, <laughs> okay. Nah. No, I don't really. <laughs> I think, you know, and this is not because, you know, we don't like Six. So it's just like, I feel like he's gotten reasonable draws overall um, from other games too, especially because it's like. Yeah, like I don't really know. Like I think he's been playing pretty well too. So you play well, you have reasonable draws, and he's advancing. I think it's like you said, strategy accounts for a lot of the percentage mm. of your favorite, if you're favored or unfavored. He brought, as you said, you think probably the best deck lineup. Yeah. So yeah, I, I think mean, that's, that's rewarding him a lot more. Yeah. yeah, that you have to find ways to get around the bad luck, and sometimes you just can't. It's Sometimes like, you like just don't draw a muster in three Paladin games. But you actively put Bane of Doom in your deck, so you know the risks associated with it. You could yeah. have built a Demon Lock without Bane of Doom. Yeah, you could. Right. You could play Demon Heart. And here's the thing, yeah. too. Like, <laughs> and then get a counter spell. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> it's not like we all want to wear gray clothes and never leave our houses, okay? It, with You have to take really? risks and gain rewards, and that's just the way life is, RDU. Yeah. Is it a risk to wear gray clothes? Well, I mean, but like you, you know, if you... It isn't traffic. If you just like wore like only gray clothes and every day you ate the same food, you ate like a piece of bread and a piece of fruit. Are you describing life in Germany right now? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, jeez. <laughs> Throw down with the shots. You know I what? missed that. Mm, you know, Emperor Thorson, I always heard, was a little weird in Rogue. It's like sometimes you just don't have the cards to make mm. everything cheaper because you have to often play for tempo. And then I, I don't like it in Rogue that yeah. much. It, it's, mm. I, I'm interested to see if it works out or not. Or maybe he plays a more controlling style, but I feel like he has been so aggressive, especially with those double oils and whatnot. I think Orange has his reasons. He played really well until now, so he probably brought really good days that he's consistent on and confident on. Sure. No, Blood Ben Raptor's cool. been popping out of him a lot this weekend, by the way. I would like to see the SI and attack with Dagger into the 1-3 and clear the 4-4 four four with the 5-5 five five to not die to some PO shenanigans. More which importantly, it looks which like uh, Blood Ben Raptor found where the light at the end of the tunnel is. <laughs> <laughs> He's finally freed from the, he the, found the pot prison of gold, of the jungle. Man. Oh, yeah, totally it's the sick. leprechauns. Mm. He's not normally red, that's just leprechaun blood all over him. That's also oh, a good line man. of play. It was either what I said or what Orange just did. Mm -hmm. This protects your low tap more, but it's really bad against the PO on the egg. Or uh, I guess on the imp here. <laughs> so that way he doesn't have to give up the uh, egg. It is the same thing. Well, it, he could do it in any order, I think. Yeah, he could do it in other order too. Mm -hmm. It's exactly yeah. the same thing. Gotcha. He doesn't kill the... Ra oh. Yeah, he kills everything. It's rogue. You, if that many cards in hand, you can't, you can't leave a minion up. Oh, man. Let's see, what can you do with prep here? A lot. The thing is that if now Orange finds a way to clear the board, he will win because Six only has one card in the hand and that's not enough to pull any combo I as mean, a demon lock. He's got spell power, Phantom Knives, and Blade Flurry. Yeah. And SI7 Agent to set everything up. This is... It almost hurts to count all yeah. the things he can do right now. But he can actually clear everything easily. Right. It's not. It's actually not hard at all. Yeah, you can play SI and then Blade Flurry Van Cleef. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think you play that. You still go for the side and clear. Yeah. Just too good. Yeah, you set up for lethal too for the next turn. Mm -hmm. How big is it actually? 8-8? Eight, eight? Yeah. 10-10. 12-12! Oh, 12, 12. 12, 12. Wait. He didn't break the record, right? What oh, was no, the yeah, record? Yeah, that prep. That's his yeah, yeah, but Savita did on turn 3 or something like that. Oh. And like, oh, yeah, yeah, all yeah. in. And then he got concealed the next draw, which was so cool. Yeah, it was pretty epic. Yeah. All right, so Orange going to take game number one with that rogue deck. You were saying that it's a bit favored against the Demon Lock. Yeah. So. As I said, even if Ciso got unlucky, it is a really bad matchup for Ciso. Not really bad. Actually, it might be really bad because Orange is a really good uh, rogue player. Mm -hmm. And this matchup is favoring rogue a bit. Rogue can do surprises after after the, gr the first group stages when there are less players. With a lot of players, the people that have Warrior probably dropped out of the group and now rogue is better. Yeah. It's funny. Uh, that's kind of fair, though. I think you're right. Like, a lot of the players that played Warrior did not end up making it through. A rogue might be one of the best decks to bring in top eight. Hmm. Probably. It could be. I wonder if, if people did ban. that more often, though. Yeah, if you're allowed to ban, I think, uh, like, some of these top tier decks always have maybe one or two weak matchups, but then if you can, like, eliminate it, it feels like it'd be stronger overall. The ban is not that relevant in Conquest because it gets he gets one win, anyways. With a deck and then yeah. you cannot play it anymore. Mm. But it's still it still is relevant. It is one win, definitely. Yeah. It is one win. Something you couldn't do or do you? Yeah. <laughs> and now he goes into the bad Ardu matchup. Is such a bully. Ah uh, no, I'm so mean. Ardu's been only nice to me the entire time. He'll, he'll never say a mean thing. Yesterday, even though I did so poorly in tournament, he kept encouraging me and even helped me uh, build the sick ladder deck, which helped me make a good run in legend. Were you number ten and a? Number twelve. Oh, which no, which deck 12. is it? It's uh this the Archon. Uh, Shaman neck thing. Oh, that thing, yeah. yeah with oh, I reapers. want that list actually. It's really face. cool. <clears throat> and then uh, Alesh had this great idea. He's like, you know what? You can make a push for the top 10 if you play Hunter. And I was like, uh, okay. And then we lost like five games in a row. So do you have BlizzCon points, is my question? Not yet, man. Not yet. Why but do you listen to Alesh? 20 days, you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He got to the round of 16. The round of 16 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something none of us have done. Uh, yeah, Mad Scientist seems pretty reasonable. It's an in interesting start. Sixo's whole lineup punishes Druids, if you look at it. What? Yeah, I mean, that's what Zale wanted to do too, right? He brought three decks that can really punish That was what Raynad was trying to do as well. A lot of people had wanted to target Druid because, yes, last week it was so popular when Emperor Thorzen first came out. Everyone was like, oh, Druid, Druid. It's like yeah. the class that benefits the most off of it. But the thing is that Druid can just draw Wild Growth and still win. Well, the double attack into Mad Scientist has to be painful. And then you also right. give him uh, the, a secret, which will also give him a, yeah. a minion. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's like so much value for 6-0.
Hmm. Would you want to stack more damage onto the board? He just showed that he didn't have like any good way. To, like attacking onto the mad scientist, that also tells you a few things too. Well, I think I think that you're basically already desperate because uh, Mech Mage just trounces Druid basically all the time. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that there is any like good answer for the enough. way to play this, you know. So. Hmm. Yeah, it was just worth discussing because, you know, yeah. that is a lot of damage. If you put four damage on the board turn two and then four like more. Like, he's setting up down. for swipe, right? Right. It's, it has to be that. He, I don't think he wants to right. attack into it this turn. Uh, if he Savage Roars now, he sets up for swipe on the Tinker Town. Yeah. And that might be the best call to make. You know? Yeah, but then th six I could get not behind play. that, yeah. Might, that he seems might, smart. That's he a really hard play. call to make, though. Yeah. yeah. He might not play the Tinker Town. He might play Anoyatron and, and, like, Mech Warper and other shenanigans. Well. <laughs> I still think so, you play Tinker Town. Yeah, you yeah. definitely play the Tinker Town. But you, looking at that, you're like, I wonder if you have something Actually, in your Actually, uh, you can play Spider Tank. <laughs> so obvious right now. You can play Spider Tank or just Pink Face. It'll be okay. Actually, Pink Face and Clockwork No might be the best play here. If he does that, that's really cool because Cause, yeah, I would be really angry because you know he has a, like a yeah. three drop or at least another two drop in there. Like playing that is really good because next time you can go for the Clockwork Gnome and wow. Tinker Town. These guys are playing very well. Yeah, they are. That's a really impressive call. Like if you get swiped, you still have a turn four play, which is really good having a four four right. and a two one. But now does he have to swipe? He doesn't really because of the keeper of the group. What do you think about possibly silencing the two one? Uh, <laughs> You'll be too much behind. Artosis, there's a lot of two ones on the board. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one that gives you a secret that you, you literally won't come back against. <laughs> Look at the minions in his hand. It's not like he has something to. Well, all right. Well, he went with Savager to go into swipe. Yeah, I know, but he wanted something bigger out there, like, like a three or four. The problem is that oh, that's nasty. The Savager telegraphed Ooh. and told Sixo, he's like, "Hey, Sixo, Sixo, yeah, you, I have swipe in my hand." And then Sixo played around swipe. Yeah, it couldn't have been more clear if he had brought Sixo by the hand around to see his screen. <laughs> But now we have a mirror entity out, and I uh, just look at that. I'm like, well, I mean, there's no way to come back, right? Yeah. Uh, not like this when there's eight damage, or sorry, there's going to be seven damage onto the board, and then whatever you put out is that much more against you. Sixo knew the exact number of minions he can play to not play into too many spells and still have enough to pressure Orange every single turn, which is like insane. And Orange also knew how to play the spells. It's a really high skill cap uh, series right mm -hmm. here, and we're just in the top 16. Finals. Imagine how the finals would look like. God. It's gonna be crazy. Could if it was anything like Maverick versus Life Coach yesterday, other than the very ending of it, I think I, well, I would have been a super. What impressed. was it? Insane. Was it, like it was the best good? series of the tournament so far. Oh, was it really? It's just that the ending was the ending was actually quite the plot twist. I wasn't expecting it because uh, Life. Oh, I, I guess what I'm gonna say is gonna be funny. I didn't expect Life Coach to rope and actually die from that. Oh, I heard right. that that happened. I but, did um, hear that that happened. Like, Everything until that point was, he was so good. He was thinking that he needs some fury from the tap. And he thought until the rope, and then he in the rope he tapped. He right. got Sun Fury, but he didn't have enough time to play all. He his played hands. the giant without Sun Fury, and the druid comboed him. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> that's painful. Yeah. He couldn't yeah. play the Sun Fury because of the rope. But Life Force still qualified. He managed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he did still. Make it. Yeah, he was pretty upset, but he took a walk, and then. Uh, it's really hard walk. to not tilt in that spot, and he managed to do that. Yeah, yeah. well, it, that's yeah. like no one's fault but your own, so it hurts <laughs> extra. So what age and experience, wisdom helps, man. Yeah, Life that's Coach. Indeed. Isn't he the oldest pro? Uh, yeah, since you retired, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Well, he's, how old is he? Is he older than you? I, think I thought so. he's around your age. I think he's right around, like, maybe. Like 33? 34? Okay, because I'm 32 now, so. Mm. Is Koyuki still playing Hearthstone? Koyuki. I think he plays. Koyuki is some, really old? But, no, I, he's not that old. No, I thought he's in, he's his, in his 20s. 20s. Mm. Yeah. Everybody seems Everyone's, right. yeah. No, he's still in that generation where it's like, ew, you're really old. Yeah. Yeah. Like, messages. Everybody's still old he's like, me. what, you're 18? 17? Yeah, 18. 18. Yeah, okay, when you're 18, 18, everyone between like 12 and 4 like seems the same. Everything between 3 and 1 looks the same. And everything like above 20 looks the same, basically. Should we go into the game? Did they start? <laughs> Change of topics. Let's do it. All right. All right, so it's one to one, guys. It's uh, Mage and Druid left for Orange, and Warlock Rogue left for 6 0. That's right. Let's so, see how uh, this goes. Mage versus Rogue coming up. Orange. This happened uh, again. Yeah. Uh, in Taish in versus Sixo. 
And uh, Sixo was the rogue, and Taiju was the mech mage. Uh, this is not mech mage, though. It's mid mage, which yeah. is worse versus rogue than uh, yeah. a mech mage would be, because you have so many cards that are not affecting the rogue and not uh, pressuring him that much. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. You can still win it. You just need the good draws. Well, and Manaworm could Manaworms. be pretty good. Lotte helps. Mana Worm, Mana Worm. Lotte helps a lot, especially if uh, you have the opportunity to keep a strong board. I don't think you point other Mana Worm. No. It's definitely not efficient. No. You you can coin Mana Worm next turn if you draw a Frostbolt and he somehow plays a Talnos. Nah, that's stupid. No, it's, I, I think Ooh. you're just... <laughs> that's also a very nice card to have, it. too. Water Elemental. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not the best turn to play, but the curve afterwards, if he picks up a secret, would be really nice. Yeah, yeah. Sixo has the full spell hand, it's except in the shredder. Yeah. I'm guessing counter spell isn't too useful against Rogue because they have so many cheap ways to activate it. Actually, it can be effective if the Rogue doesn't have the coin. Mm. The, like, the Rogue cannot get uh, any spare parts. Oh, the Eviscerate has to be painful. Mm. Oil and Sprint will stay dead in the hand for a lot of time. Shredder will be played soon. Sap can be decent, but not extraordinarily good unless Orange is gonna is gonna coin the Water Elemental. Right. I mean, he just used Eviscerate as well, so it's really difficult to deal with Water Elemental other than Sap, and then you just replay it. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good play by Orange. I I, I don't really like uh, playing uh, double Kirinter Mage because you don't have that many secrets in the mid mage. But I think that he's going for this in a tournament format so that he maximizes the chances of drawing something good. Yeah. Like, so that secrets are less dead if he just. Yeah, draws yeah, yeah. It. He goes for the best possible. Yeah, but I mean, he does have sprint. However, he just uses preparation. Hmm. Mana worm does well, some work, man. Six damage for one mana. Yeah. This is like a good play, Flurry. Yeah, but like have to. the problem is that Sixo doesn't have anything for the next turn. Right. He just needs to top deck something. And if he doesn't, he'll not be happy. Mm. Yeah, if he just whiffs on. Anything, and especially if his opponent has a reasonable, strong minion like Lothed that he can't easily deal with, other than just because he's frozen. Well, yeah, that's that's true. He's frozen, but at least that doesn't come when he wants to play like a sprint the next turn or something like that. True. I I don't think that Lothed on this turn was perfect, this guy but froze. it was really good on the board. Like if uh, Sixo had anything other than a four three on the board, Orange would probably go for the Azure Drake, mm. but you cannot play Azure Drake into a four three. Can you just keep dropping bombs? And not uh, sure. keep trade like dropping Toshley. You might be able to to play into Blade Flare because he already used one. But is playing double sorcerer is more worth than playing a Toshley? I don't think so. No, no. Toshley's better here. Spare part isn't terribly useful mm. against Rogue, right? No, but seven health is pretty darn good. Yeah, that's he already thought, used right? one of his saps. Depends uh, what spare part. Like the replay one is good with low temp. The freezing one is good versus his minions. Oh man, you're right. If he gets timer wander on Lotha, that's that's devastating. Yeah, yeah. I think just as a body, anyways, it's like pretty, pretty it's sick true. when you it's, look it's at Doom the spells already stats. used. Yeah. Like he's already used a prep and a vis, a blade fury, a deadly poison, a sap. It's killing Tosh is actually a pain in the butt. Well, he's got to make his decision. <clears throat> if he's not playing Toshley, then he's playing other mid-sized minions, like the Kirin Tour Mages or the Sorcerer's Apprentice. We have many I like dropping the Kirins like that when you don't have secrets. And he chose to play into Blade Flurry, which is a really good call mm -hmm. by Orange. He, he, If Ciso has Deadly Poison, Blade Flurry, or Oil, Blade Flurry in three cards, <laughs> yeah. th that's insane. Like, here, take the win. Ooh, yeah. Frost with Grunt. Makes it a little bit harder. Hmm. Well, he does get that sprint off. I mean, it helps him gain a little bit of life here, which is nice. So that way he has more time for the sprint to be super effective. The draws are not that good, but the sap can be useful. You will probably want the big Van Cleef. I'm not sure if Orange runs BGH in the deck. Does he? I would imagine he does. Wow. You, wow. Can, you can run BGH the in The sequence of draws related to his uh, secrets. Like, he draws the, the secrets after he played the Kirin Tour, but before he's played the Mad Scientist. <laughs> hmm, what can he do here? Sap is one of the plays. Sap is Sai Van Cleef, I guess. Yeah, he aside uh, 4 1. You don't want to kill a scientist because if you kill a scientist with the SI, you give him the SI. 
And that's not what you want. You want to gain the board back. You don't want to give him potential lethal. He can already have poten secret. potential lethal. Wow, there's only... That's like... This is such a weird... There's secret. still a secret in there. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like... It's pretty bad. Mm. That's really bad, though. He can play both secrets for two mana. One mana is secret with the sorcerers. But oh, yeah, I guess you're right. <clears throat> is that good well, enough? Well, he can't now because he just used his... Uh, well, he can play counter spells. Yeah. Orange is afraid and he starts trading. Well, it's scary when your opponent uh, sprints. He has, you know, the I deadly wonder. poison and the, the oil, and that's still a lot of damage. Yes, he should be. And now he still dominates the board with the Toshley. Maybe he gets a cooldown so he can buy time. Timey winder, interesting. Oh. Everything a little bit out of order for Orange this game. <laughs> Just a little bit late. Yeah. Thanos. Mm. Probably the one of the worst draws. How much damage does he have right now? So he's got three on the blade, uh, plus six. Six, seven, eight, nine. So many options. Yeah. Nine, and then he can swing again. Yeah, it's nine, and he can swing one more time. Oh, it's six. Nice, it's 15. He needs a top deck for four. That, that, that's doable. He could have went for that. Yeah, I mean, it's reasonable to, to assume that he might be able to pick up damage. I think the best play was to go Deadly Poison, Oil, attack full face, and then play Talnos, and uh, just pass. And yeah. you have two draws to get four damage, which is definitely doable. Man. He's playing a little bit. Both He's players safe are now like. playing like really safe because they realized that. Well, like the, the rogue knows he has a lot of burst, so he has to not die. No. But then on the uh, mage side, you're just afraid of that rogue burst, so all you do is trade. <laughs> Giving one more card to the mage is probably not the wisest play, but he didn't want to go for the yolo. We we can see. We might see what Sixo gets in the next two cards, and if it was a four damage card, he might have reg he might regret it. Wow, the, sick, the sorcerers can get some huge value here. Yeah, right. So a lot of the spells become cheaper. Counter spell. He can play. Scenario, like he can play sorcerers, unstable portal, one secret, and piloted shredder. You I go for the. I have a question already. You. Sure. Um, if you counter spell the deadly poison, does the combo still activate? Yes, oh, it does. Wow. What does the future hold? I have another question. You also Is there get any a teacher minion than fall more farseer off the of stable portal. <laughs> You, you get the also only the Mogre the <laughs> Ogre, okay? That's the only oh, one. Man, Mogre the Ogre would be so crazy. We like, saw that yesterday. And that six three far here yeah. just like redirects into like Sorcerer's That'd Apprentice. Be so sick. You also you also get the teacher token from the counter spell. Oh man! So basically, the, everything activates other than the, the effect of the spell. You get the auctioneer draw too. If you play auctioneer. Yeah, I, I knew that for a while because that was something that you, I thought. You just get a spell triggered, but right. it's like a spell for nothing. Yeah, I guess. So very expensive. But I guess Cecil doesn't want to donate orange some more. I, I think the plays, again, go for going for full face and hoping for no fireballs. He definitely doesn't want to do that. Now we'll see what happens. I think he values so backstab more. Right. Alright, time to add some oil. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. He'll back to the free two and then kill the Kralmar. It's not too bad, I guess, but being empty handed is definitely not yeah. good. Oh. oh, Dr. Boom, and he's got reversing switch. To oh my kill god. The and he can ping the 3 1. And he can ping the 3 1. That is such clean removal. And 6 0 is basically stuck with Buster for battle. <laughs> Without the weapon. <laughs> well, he can get the weapon. One, two, yeah, he weapon. can get the one. Well, does it have four charges? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Touche, sir. Imagine Master for battle in Rogue. You can oil the Master for battle. Oh. Is that too late, though? That's so much damage on board. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Seven, like, if those bombs are true, man. <laughs> it's you cannot play about around fireball unless you trade with both. Well <laughs> All right. Well, six zero realizes that he's just dead to a fireball. Nothing he can do about it. Oh, I was, I was expecting it. fireball so much there. I don't know why. He can still draw it. it. <clears throat> yeah, he's still got to draw. Right. Um, I think you have a really good play. You trade Dr. Boom into one of the Boombots, you ping the other Boombot, you play Azadrake and Flame Cannon and you clear the board. 
It's true. And, and then you can you, uh, you can the time rewind the Doctor Boom for the next turn. I mean, this is assuming you don't even draw Fireball to win right now. Yeah, like you first play Azadric. Right. If you draw Fireball, you win. And if you don't, you trade. You double trade into the bombs. One in twelve? Oh, that's not that bad. I don't think you ping first. That, that's the best play. So you got two one in thirteen before. Two in twelve, right? Two in twelve. Two yeah, two in twelve. Oh, okay. That's the best play. You play Azadric first. Does Fire Frostball kill them? No, he's gonna be no, no. short. <laughs> he wants. Yeah, he wants to go for the board clear. Like that. That's that, that, that's okay. But I, f I still think he had to draw before. Right. But if you want to draw before, there's also a chance that your Azure Drake dies. It's a one out of three, uh, one out of four out of one out of three, it's like eight percent. It's, it's closer to fifty percent. Actually, I've done this play. It's not the. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> damn it, Artosis. <laughs> it's not like the position he's in. He's forced to try to go for the win. He's also in a position where it's like, how does he not lose from here? No, oh. I, I I don't really like this. What could you? I mean, Rogue has zero cards he can draw to win the game, right? Yeah, but he could clear the board entirely. I, I don't know. It's, it's still a good hand, though. Doesn't matter, I guess, at this point. Nefarian into Ice Block. That wish you can do. Nefarian too. into Ice That's Block. A, that can give him some time. Hold on, Nefarian. Well, oh, he doesn't have enough mana for that, actually. Nefarian's nine mana, right? Some cool ping pong action here. Yep. Volleyball. Wow. Three to the face. Keeps oh, him and just he's got outside a ping. the ping range. Oh, don't concede, uh, you're not. Ah, damn it, six so. Well, he was never gonna win against three cards in hand. Two turn clock. I, yeah, I guess if you allowed six so to pick any sequence of cards in his deck from mm -hmm. that point on, he'd still lose. Yeah, yeah. So that wraps up game three. Orange is up two to one. Yep, that's right. And that means Orange is gonna be using his Druid, and we have the Rogue and the Warlock for six so. Hmm. All it's right. doable. Let's yeah. call it like that. Sure. Of course it's I wouldn't doable. be surprised if this goes right to game five. We've had a lot of these go there. What do we have remaining? The Rogue and uh, Demon Lock versus Druid. Yeah. Demon Lock versus Druid. I, I want this game to go to... I want this set to, game, to go to game five. It's always cool. The yeah. You see the pressure on the players. I, I know how it feels. Okay, let's go into the game. <laughs> 10 out of 10, are you? <laughs> oh my god. It's awesome. What a treat. All right, six are gonna go with Warlock. Yeah, the Demon Lock. I'm not sure if Demon Lock is better than Rogue versus Druid. Do you and Sixo have the same hoodie because he was wearing something. H and M is a very popular store. It's very possible that we do. <laughs> me and Taylo <laughs> own the same hoodie. Well, you guys are also like the same height too. He's actually a little bit taller than me, I think. Is he? Yeah, he's really tall. Are you his father? Is Sixo literally slender? <laughs> yes, man? I am his father. <laughs> he has red hair for some reason. I don't quite get it. But your dad? Your dad has red hair? No. Oh. Oh, like no, Forsen is his father, guys. Come on, <laughs> let's be real here. <laughs> dad, do it. Wasn't it do it, Dad? Come on, Frodo. Listen, my memes. My, my, I'm, I need to brush up on my dank memes. Don't you want? For, don't you watch Forsen stream? Do you? Yes. I don't really watch it to be honest. He like, there's too much bad language. And I have a, I have a <laughs> little one like in the house, so or I don't really watch it. Yeah. How old is he right now? Uh, she's three, Dang. so you got to really be careful. I actually watch a uh, Trump. So this just in Forsen's, uh, Forsen's stream is NSFW. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Draxus. Yeah, it's a demon. He can just trade. Oh, and get a yeah. Demon. You yeah. literally can't kill that with Druid, unless he's playing a naturalize. <laughs> uh, unless Sylvanas comes down the board and complicates things. Yeah, that's about it. I it's. Wonder. I like it. I would never have life tapped there. Why not? Because Dude's you get some crappy oh. little demon, right? Maybe he doesn't play crappy little demons. I don't oh, think. Yeah, I don't might. think Sixo plays Mistress. Okay, okay. Because, well, I guess if he got Mistress, he could have played her. And oh yeah, the five seven charge wouldn't have. Yeah, you're right. Bad, yeah, you're right. So. But uh, the, the thing is, I love this guy out so much, and you're not gonna like use him as a minion. You know, you're not gonna like yeah. play him to get Draxus, the hero. Not enough life. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Check a Draxus. Oh! No way! Oh! No freaking way! Are you oh serious? Oh my god. Two Draxus? That is They will be Argus funny. next turn. Argus. <laughs> oh my god. Defender of Argus. Oh I don't even my know god. anymore. Oh no my god. Time. Oh, and Sylvanas. This is going to be so fun. This is absolutely crazy. Sixo can, Sixo can play the counter Sylvanas. <laughs> but that's bad. No, no, you know no, what you do here? No, I, I know what you do with this play. You kill this, and then you 
the imp card on Sylvanas, and then you uh, you mortal coil her, and she takes a little imp. And you I just mean, it's a pretty high chance, but like Artosa's weird stuff has happened. I if you play Sylvanas, he Sylvanas acti Orange Sylvanas activates yeah. first, so he will steal your Jaraxxus, but then you get the Jaraxxus back. Right. Four. There you go. That's the it. Okay. No problem. Sixo had like super bad RNG earlier. So and now. Oh, if and he has a swipe. He doesn't have a swipe. Wow. He can. Because mm. he could have swiped his own guy. Like, there was so much he could have done with swipe. Yeah. Oh, well. God. Oh, Jaraxes. boy. Why doesn't Sisa run a golden Jarax so he could have two golden Jaraxes? Because he runs. Uh, that's true. He has golden Bane of Doom, though, which summons yeah, one golden of each. Jaraxes. He should invest. You have a commons man, common man's Jaraxes, and you have a, you know, <laughs> an elite Jaraxes. <laughs> the pleb Jaraxes. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, man. Oh, wait. Uh, Where's his life going? <laughs> yeah, he's been tapping a lot, too. That was, like, so exciting. I kind of, like, forgot that this game has rules about killing each other in it. There he has Argus. Objective. Imagine he steals one of the Jaraxxuses if, if Sixer goes for the PO. That would be, like, heartbreaking. Jaraxxi, or do you? <laughs> Jaraxxi. <laughs> Jaraxxi? Jaraxxi? <laughs> I would love it if those two Jaraxxus sang a duet. <laughs> about you face Jaraxxi. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Hopefully Seems like he's not in a good spot right now. <clears throat> he has to deal with the board. Yeah, he's got heal, he's got uh, taunt, he's got AoE. What if Seems thinks that Orange might have like double swipe in his hand? Oh, that's also that would also be very well, if he had swipe, I think he would have already used it anyways. Right? What if he had double oh. swipe and he wanted to go for lethal? Nice. That's oh, a really that's good, a good play point. to steal the Sylvanas. It's a good play, but you die to so many things. Yeah, you are vulnerable to... Well, to like double swipe. Right. right. Nah. What else are you vulnerable to? Nothing. Force of you... nature? Yeah, oh. but you don't have enough. one swipe. That's like 12 lethal. So should you be drawing cards with the Ancient of Lore to try to get more damage, or should he? Do you survive? That's the thing that you should ask yourself. Oh, that's also a good point. Uh, there's a. Well, I think I'd kill. Six, Twelve. Sylvanas, maybe. He just used Power of Overwhelming though, so it's a lot less. Just Wrath, Pink, good. Sylvanas. See what you get. Wrath and <laughs> swipe Sylvanas. You mean? Hmm. Well, like Wrath at first, just to see what you draw, I guess. Um. Huh. Hmm. Azadrek is an interesting draw. You play Tori Sun and pray? <laughs> I must safeguard the last. Oh, he's going in. Oh, well. man. Sixo has the heal bot, but heal bot prevents him from playing anything else. And Sixo might think Orange has the combo. Like, he would be one damage of Lethal with Force of Nature, and if or Orange might just have the combo. And Sixo cannot play heal bot in this spot because he dies to combo. Well, he doesn't really have choices, right? So he has to go heal bot. He can go for Argus. I think that's more safe. Argus is like effective HP. But if he goes Argus, he loses. Wow. To what? Well, to Spell Power Swipe. Oh. <sighs> You're right. Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't lose to Combo, and Combo is the obvious thing that Orange might have. So is there an actual alternative? Maybe he should... No, no. Combo is not the obvious thing that he has, I don't think, right? Because he used, he used the Keeper. Okay, he loses. No, wow. no, no. He needs, to, he needs to get like a farce here. Oh, no. What? The Jirax has had so many dreams! I can't he lost believe... To, he lost to a really weird combo. I cannot combo. believe that. It's like a... Oh my god. I, I, you don't expect Azai Drake swipe on turn 9. They go, both got taunted. There's, those are 412 Jiraxes! I can't Spell even believe this. Spell power swipe I, I, I don't game. blame Six, so like... I, I would expect combo. The Jiraxes I, I would expect lose. combo there, like... Wow. With combo, he would have been one of one damage of lethal with the force of nature hero power. So I think Cesar still made the right play. Okay, I think it's fair to say that that was. And right Orange play. also made the right play by pressuring both players. I think played uh, close to perfectly, if not perfectly. Yeah, that, that was a great series. So, These guys throughout this whole group have played amazingly. That's why RNG exists there to. Well, that it would game wouldn't be exciting if he didn't get that signature axis. So. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was that was crazy though. Absolutely madness. Yeah. Malganis would have been like more <clears throat> OP than Jaraxxus there. Just closing the game, I think. Well, yeah, oh, but then it'd be a, a lot less though. funny. I yeah, think. I know. Double Jaraxxus. Two Jaraxxus right was pretty insane, but, uh, you know, it. despite that, Orange wins the series 3-1. to one. So, uh, yeah, what was your first thought when you saw the second Jaraxxus? Did it even phase you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I, I was thinking that hopefully I'll get one of them out of Sylvanas, but, yeah, Bane of the 
became pretty insane after uh, they they fixed it, so to speak. So to speak, <laughs> it's, it's it's a new card, right? We could effectively say that. Um, yeah. Is there anything special that Six O is your teammate? And so, is there any strategies like you know his style, or you know his decks, or even something that's like you're trying to mind game him to the next level? Is there anything special there? Uh, I mean, we uh, we pre we prepared all of our decks together. Like we we had a um, me Six O Soleil Firebat and Freaky. Like uh, prepared all of our decks. Uh, like. Not not the whole process was together, but at, at least like the last night, so I knew everything that Sixer played, and he knew everything that I played. Um, we we actually decided when we saw that we were in the same group to not really prepare for each other. But as soon as I knew that I w would be up against him, of course, made up some sort of plan, which was basically I hope I can pull off with a win with a druid somehow because I knew that his his lineup is pretty solid against druid overall. Uh, but yeah. No mind games, really, I don't think. Did you just leak that Freaky is the newest member of Archon? <laughs> no, Ooh. I didn't, but uh, he, he prepared. He, he and I prepared together, and uh, leaving him out would be would be pre uh, nothing I want to do, really. After oh, preparing confirmed. all the time together. Former teammates. Confirmed. You guys better poach him right away, man. That's right, man. You're going full fire bet on us yeah. right here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like 10 feet away from him looking. <laughs> All right, well, uh, you know, congratulations, man. You're through the round of eight. That's crazy. And I know that uh, you put a lot of pressure on yourself to perform, especially after doing well in Katowice and, uh, you know, the Pinnacle series. And then, of course, you had that Via Game House Cup where you weren't too happy. You know, how, how is it to be on that roller coaster promotion? Because you seem to be more of an expressive player. Oh, yeah. I, it, it's something I'm working on, but I put way too much, much pressure on myself when it comes to tournaments. I, I practice, like, I think mo more than most players, I really, really put a lot of time in this game. And uh, I really always want to get better, and uh, therefore I put so much pressure on myself Like when it comes to tournaments. Especially after Katowice, uh, people have been expecting like a lot of things, and I haven't, like, I, I try to not care about what other people think, but uh, having quite some problems with that. Fair but uh, I, g getting to the r round of eight now, and uh, show, uh, like getting to prove to myself and uh, others that uh, it, that I can perform reliably pretty well because it's not that far off from Katowice. It feels really good. Don't right. don't don't prove it to uh, the others, man. No, no. Prove it to Amaz because he writes your checks. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Well done, man. I, I'm sorry. I, I hog the interviews like again. I always do. I'm sorry. No, no, it's all good. We actually just barely had him on the couch. So. Oh, okay. So this, this uh, is like fresh and new for me, man. Yeah, no, but uh, congrats, man. You're the first player through to that round of eight. Now you can use your extra deck. Do, oh, do you have something really special for that, or do you, want, do, do, you don't want to share it? Um, yeah, it's, it's playing not, Mojo it's, Dormu, man. It's not my deck. Oh. Well, let's just say that much. So it's something good. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, wait. what is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But oh, yeah. oh, snap! <laughs> that was a really subtle burn. Dang, <laughs> yeah. Ardy, you're so quick. But yeah, I I'm feeling good about the round of eight. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Blowing up the smoke I, while we're I, at I, it. I'm just joking. up, man. Yeah. Congratulations. You are in round of fate. I just lost. I'm just <laughs> <joking>. <laughs> All good. Yeah, one minute later. All right. Well, guys, we're going to take a break uh, here at Sea Story Cup. Congratulations to Orange. He's first to the round of eight, but we got plenty more action today. So stay tuned. We'll be back in just a sec.